uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans, happy things, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough to be doing it too, welcome back to the channel. I'm Bushka, and today's video is about the FAMAS. The FAMAS is, well, it's not new. It's uh, very, very different, though. It's been changed radically in update 2.8. Today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the weapon itself, the stats of the weapon, uh, what kind of play style it merits, and whether I like it, and whether you should be picking it up and running it. First things first, if you wouldn't mind giving me a hand by subscribing to the channel, I know everyone asks, but literally it's how I make a living. So if you could subscribe to the channel, it helps me make a living. Thanks very much. The, for us, it's a 5.56 AR, but it doesn't really play like a 5.56 AR. It has a, much, much better recoil profile than it used to have, but it used to have the worst recoil of any AR in the game. So it could stand to have used a little bit of an improvement. That isn't the only change to the FAMAS though. They have buffed it slightly in terms of damage. It's rolled up to 38.9 now, but it hasn't increased in rate of fire. And this is the iron sights. The iron sights are a complete diabolical mess. They are the worst iron sights in game. It's like looking down a tunnel and trying to aim at the end by just randomly turning around. You lose all sight of the target in those iron sights. They are the worst. It's also had its ability to mount an extended magazine rescinded. It can't mount an extended mag now. And so you are stuck with a 30 round clip or magazine that can't be improved. In fact, this is the gun that I feel like it kind of runs like, the Uzi. If you run Uzi a lot and you enjoy the Uzi, you might like the FAMAS because I'll be frank with you, I didn't like the FAMAS. I've never liked it previously and I still don't like it because despite the fact that I got a lot of crates, I kept losing games when I was running this thing and winning games when I was running other crate weapons like Mark 14s and MG3s. And there is a real game issue with the FAMAS that needs to be discussed. If you're running an AR, you're running it because it has good bullet speed and it's excellent ADS in the mid range. You don't run ARs to hip fire the AR. I mean, you can, but it's not really what you do. However, the FAMAS has the most ridiculous high rate of fire for an AR. And you keep running out of bullets. Couple that with the fact that it doesn't do a lot of damage. Its single shot round of 38.9 is easily the lowest of any AR. An M416 fires at 40.9. But it fires too fast. You fire so fast that if you pre-fire something, they're already past you by the time. And then you've got a long reload because the reload is long. There's no way around that. So you can fire your entire clip in 1.9 seconds. And then it takes you 3.1 seconds to reload. That's, that's absolutely ridiculously bad for ADSing and pre-firing which is what the game is based on. I want you to think of it like this. You basically have the same rate of fire as an MG3. You know how crazy it is and how easy it is to run out of ammo pre-firing an MG3. Okay, and that has 75 rounds in it. The FAMAS has 30 and you can't upgrade that. It's the most ridiculously delicate balancing act I've ever come across in PUBG Mobile. Despite the fact that they've buffed the weapon and they've made it better, the fact that you can't mount an extended magazine on this gun means you just spend so much time pre-firing and then reloading and not hitting anything. And it's really, really upsetting because even though you can theoretically use this to spray at range, you fire so quickly that as they move around at range, if anyone tries to be evasive at all, you are just stuck reloading your magazine again and again and again and again and again. 
and it's frustrating. And I died so many times running this gun in gunfights where I would pre-fire or I would I would be ADSing and it just wouldn't work. Like I'd miss. And then I, I'm going to be doing a video on the org, by the way. The org is in such a beautiful place right now. For me, the FAMAS is just a meh crate weapon. It, it's not good for you. It's just not good for you. It's it's really unfortunate that they pulled the ability to run an extended AR mag because I think if you could run an extended AR mag on this and get 40 in the clip, then it would be a weapon worth running. But running it, like, see how quick that was gone? I didn't have time to really aim the bloody thing. And it's... It burns through ammunition so quickly. It's really, it needs to be either like at, at point blank range or at extreme range. I, I don't think there's anything in between for it. And that's sad because that's what I really love about these ADS weapons, uh, the, the ARs. I love being able to ADS at 40 meters or 50 meters. And, and I mean, this is this is such a good example of what I'm talking about. If you miss, it just kind of goes everywhere. Uh, I'm obviously in trouble here. There's three people pushing me at once, and that's that's fine. But the guy that I want to fight is down the end on the left. And if I feel like if I had a barrel or an AK, this guy's just dead. But you can see I hit him a bunch of times, but it doesn't matter because. It just doesn't do enough damage. It's it's just so weak in terms of Alpha Strike. Your AK is doing 47.9 there. Did you see that spray? Like, I had to drag it hard right because the target moved. And this is especially bad if you're a high ping player like I am. This is the best ping I ever get. This was This is where I chucked in the towel. You're going to see, this guy's going to push me. Um, I don't know why he was in the middle of the field, whatever. This guy's going to push me, and I ADS in, and then he jerks to the right, and I completely miss. And the next thing you know, I'm trying to play catch-up, and the UMP rinses me, and he's hip-firing it. And the hip-fire in the FAMAS is not good. It's it's tough. i I got to say... And I'm surprised. I'm, I'm just surprised that I I so dislike the gun because on paper, it's got a good time to kill, 0.264. It's got great bullet speed. It's got good recoil. But it's like the Vector without an extended magazine. I mean, theoretically brilliant. Practically, it's just very difficult to get the most out of it. And it's a little bit frustrating to me that it's where it is. But I also like the fact that it's been released like this and it hasn't been released broken. And there is an opportunity still for it to be balanced, if you know what I mean. And I, I think it should be balanced. As to the... Ace-32, the changes to the Ace-32, I'm going to do a video on that as well. I don't know what they've changed. I've been trying to figure it out. I don't know what it is. But they've done something to it that's making it really, really fun. And I win a lot with it. Which is not something you expect. Uh, but there you go. And I think if I had to choose between running the Ace-32... And running the FAMAS, which is a crate weapon, and an Ace-32, which is kind of just like a barrel. I'd run the barrel or the FAMAS. I'd run the barrel of the Ace-32. And that's wild. Absolutely wild to me. And if I had to go even further, I'd say that guns that have low alpha damage, like Uzis and FAMASs, and to a lesser extent the MG3, they really do demand that you you be very, very good at your short-range ADS. I think that could be a gyro thing that I'm missing or could just be something that 
isn't in my gameplay and it might not be in yours but if you do love those weapons and maybe this is for you for me i'd rather run a tommy gun or a ump because they hit harder and when you're only getting one or two shots at a time in or you're only landing headshots or limb shots bigger damage works so much better for me and i'm, I'm finding i run tommies and ak's and barrels and things that just hit harder and i do better until next time look after yourself i'm bushka stay safe on the battlefield please like the videos and subscribe uh and you know stick around more to come